Welcome to Solving Absolute Value Equations Part 2. Here I have an equation. They don't tell me anything uh, to substitute in for b, so I have to solve for b by isolating. And there's two things I have to do first. The f I'm going to solve two separate equations. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the a, b, or absolute value signs. Okay. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the sign on the other side of the equation. So I have to first rewrite two problems. Um, in my first problem, I'm going to rewrite it negative 10. There's no sign between the 10 and the absolute value, so I'm going to use parentheses indicating multiplication. So the first question, all I'm doing is removing the AB signs. On the second problem, I'm not only going to remove the AB signs, but I'm going to change the sign of the other on the other side of the equation, which is the negative 40. So I'm going to remove the AB signs and replace them with parentheses. And I'm going to make the negative 40 a positive 40. Now I'm ready to solve. Let's solve the first problem. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative 10 to the B, which will give me negative 10B. And then negative 10 times 3 is a pot, uh, I'm sorry, is a negative 30 equals negative 40. Now I want to isolate my B. The opposite, I'm going to move the negative 30 over the other side. And the way I do that is take the opposite. The opposite of negative 30 is a positive 30. I'm going to bring down the negative 10B because I didn't solve anything. This gives me a big fat zero equals the difference. The signs are different, so I'm going to take the difference, and that will give me 10. The difference between 40 and 30 is 10. I take the sign of the larger number, so it's a negative 10. I still need to isolate the B. It's connected through multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by a negative 10. That equals 1 leaving me with b equals 1. Now, I still need, that's not definitely my answer. I'm going to have to check it after I solve my two equations by plugging 1 back in for b. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So if I have negative 10 times I'm substituting the 1 for b plus 3 equals negative 40. Solve inside my parentheses. Always use PEMDAS. Negative 10 times 4 equals negative 40. And negative 10 times 4 is negative 40 equals negative 40. Okay, so I know this is part of my solution set. Put my solution set right here. And I know 1. I'm not going to use brackets because I'm not, I'm going to use brackets um, instead of parentheses when given my solution set because it's not an ordered pair. Uh, so I just go ahead and use the brackets. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. I'm going to distribute the negative 10. Negative 10 times b is a negative 10b. Negative 10 times 3 is a negative 30 equals 40. Remember, you change the sign on the 40. And I'm going to move the 30 over the other side with, by adding 30. I'm going to bring down my negative 10b because I didn't do anything to it. This gives me a big fat 0 equals. Now I'm going to get a different answer over here because 40 is not a negative anymore. So 40 plus 30 is 70. I still need to isolate my b. So I'm going to divide by negative 10. And B equals a negative 7. Okay, once again, I need to check that and make sure that's my answer. So I'm going to substitute back into the original problem. 
going to substitute into this problem to make sure my answer is correct. Negative 10, the absolute value of negative 7 plus 3 equals negative 40. Solve inside absolute value, so negative 10, absolute value of negative, or I'm sorry, let's solve negative 7 plus 3, I'm jumping ahead, which is a negative 4 equals negative 40, and let's remove the absolute value by solving. Absolute value of negative 4 is 4, because it's 4 spaces away from, negative 4 is 4 spaces away from 0 put that in parentheses, and the reason I put that in parentheses is because there's no sign right here. Equals negative 40. Negative 10 times 4 is negative 40. Equals negative 40. And that works. So my other answer to my solution set is a negative 7. Okay. I already showed you the first way to do it, and we got an answer of in the solution set of 1 and negative 7. Now I'm going to kind of show you what that means. Uh, first, notice I'm going to take my original problem, negative 10, absolute value of b plus 3 equals negative 40. I need to have only absolute value on this side, so I need to get rid of the negative 10, or not necessarily get rid of it, but I need to move it over to the other side. There's no sign here, so it's connected through multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I'm going to divide this side by negative 10, and I'm going to divide this side by negative 10. That cancels out, leaving me with the absolute, val or the absolute value of b plus 3 equals and negative 40 divided by negative 10 is 4. I'm going to remove the absolute value, so I have b plus 3. <laughs> I still put that in there anyways. Okay, b plus 3 equals 4, and I'm going to, so this is my first equation, and my second equation will be b plus 3 equals a, got to change the sign, a negative 4. So let's go ahead and solve. I subtract 3. Subtract 3. I don't know what that is right there. That's something weird. Come on, pen. Thank you. I subtract 3. I get b. That equals 0. Equals 1. I know that. That's what I have over here. And I'm going to subtract 3. And I get b equals a negative 7. I know that already. Okay. What does that mean? Well, you're going to come across problems where you have to graph. And, and or from the graph, you have to create a problem. Or write the word problem. Write the problem. What did I do? If you notice, on both problems, I subtracted 3. What this means, this right here is my middle number. Okay, on a number line. So I'm going to put a negative 3 right here. Now, do something, let me show you something really neat. This is really cool. If I count four spaces positive, or four spaces up, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. 1 is in my solution set. So I count it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four spaces. I got a positive 1. Now, what did we do here? I'm going to move down three, four spaces from my middle number. So, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. 
So I went one, two, three, four spaces again in the opposite direction, and that's why you change the sign. And I ended up at my other answer of, in my solution set of negative seven. So when writing, when you're given a graph, in other words, when you're given a graph, what you do to both sides to solve the absolute value is your middle number. Okay, I subtracted three from both sides. And I went four spaces this way, four spaces this way. So this is my, I went plus four, negative four. So if I were working backwards, I'd have to do the opposite. Since this is my middle number, it's going to be a positive three. Remember, I have two equations, positive three. I went four spaces one way, and I went four spaces in the opposite direction. And then I have my variable. And it doesn't matter which variable you use. And this is an absolute value. And that's how you work backwards from a number line into writing absolute value.